success solely in farming regardless of the crop that you're doing start with close monitoring of your, your crops uh, even if it's maize even if it's cabbages even if it's, uh, it's onions you need to keep monitoring them and just by looking up a general look standing somewhere and having a general look of your maize or your crop doesn't guarantee you or doesn't give you a good view of what you need to know about your maize because for example a section of like for example in this section you can see there is a problem and the problem coming to a conclusion is a nutritional problem uh some is like this one here it's very healthy but we cannot come to a conclusion that because this one is healthy other means are healthy having a close look of few stem like for example these two and these and also uh these other means here you can see now there are so many uh holes on the leaves and also uh there is a new attack which has not turned into a hole on the leaves of this mist. In your thought, I know you've known what this is. This is Folamium, which is among the most dangerous pests when it comes to uh, mist production. And this Folamium, don't wait until you see it like it is uh, It's in my field. And you'll be surprised to know that I once did the first spray or the pest control when they were two weeks old. But as they grew uh, now to this age they are in, which is uh, around 47 days, they are 47 days old as we speak, now you can see there is a new attack. That means the, there is a continuous attack of full amium until now the day you are done with the maize or the day you go to the market or the day you harvest. In my case, I'm running for the green market, I'm running for the silage market. If I lose that, I go to the other market. So that's why I say I'm talking of going to the market. So how do you control this? One, don't wait until you see this fallen moon. Don't wait until you see your maize uh, looking uh, this way. You need to have a control. And we have different controls. What as fever does as, as per now is the continuous rains, as you can see, uh, even as we speak, um, the crowns are uh, very expectant. It may rain any time of the day. Uh, when it's very cold, when it's very rainy, uh, sometimes it discourages the fallen moon from attacking the maize. Uh, like you know, a fallen moon is a tropical pest that attacks when the temperatures are, are moderate, room temperatures, that's when it favors the fallen moon. But when it's very cold, like it is when it's raining, it discourages them. I think that was is what has favored us from our side. And that is what has favored you. You have not seen the fallen moon in your maze. But I can tell you it's coming. So how do you control it? We have several control measures. Once, one, don't wait until you identify fallen worm. But if you see something like this, this is an identification that fallen worm has attacked you. Uh, it has uh, attacked me in a very uh, in a very small area in my farm. But I'm not going to ignore that. I'm going to control the whole farm to prevent the spread of this fallen worm. So fallen worm has already attacked me. So how do we come? We have different ways we have the catcher way the catcher way is in case like this stem uh how it is attacked we uproot it and we throw it away that the catcher way making that your field is very clean and uh it's uh no debris that are left that can can harbor the fallen home to preventing the spread we have the biological method which um, we usually use the biological product or the, the other the, the, the use of the enemies like the ladybird there is a, a small insect that usually attacks the fallen which, which is the ladybird you can encourage that as many as possible to be able to control your 
you have the fallen home. Also, we have the biological control, which is the very effective. And if you use this the very first day, you are going to control the fallen home. That is use of Bacillus diligences, BT. Bacillus diligences is a natural of um, uh, fungus uh, that controls or that eats on fallen home. And this fungus is there. There are some packs you buy it in a pack or a, it's uh, it's in a um, container. You come, you mix it with water, and you spray your field. All you can apply is at, as dust, and it is going to control your field. And in most cases, it's very effective when you have not seen this effect. But even if you've seen them, Bacillus indulgences is among the best product to use as a biological. And near you, there is a natural way that consists of bacillus diligences, and that is dust. You know, bacillus diligences is pleasant in the soil. If your soil is not wet as mine it is, you can use the dust from the soil, uh, come picking it and putting it in your maze. You control for a moment. When it's very dusty and very dry, you can collect as many dust as possible, put it in a gunny bag, knowing that you are going to control bacillus diligences with it. Also, um, ash from, from hoods are very good to control this. They, contr they contain these uh, bacillus diligences that controls for a new Last but not least is use of chemicals, which we have uh, in our shelves or in our shops to control uh, for a new There are two types of chemicals. There is one that we, we mix with water and spray. And there is another one that is in dust form that we spray to control uh, for lamium and to make sure that we destroy this harmful pest that may end up destroying your farm, may end up destroying your, um, your, your, your income generating investment. These are income generating investment. Hope you've learned something uh, in our topic today about identification and control of fallen home hope this you are going to apply it it's applicable whatever i'm sharing with you is applicable it's something that we are using in our farm to make sure that uh, uh, the maize farm is clean and so that you can get business out of it if this is your first time you're watching me uh don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel also uh, become a member of this YouTube channel by becoming a member. You support my work. You support everything that I do. If you like what I do, be a member so that you can continue learning together. Bye.